Um, Bertrand, I want to find out from you, um, you know, just what we've been speaking about so far. How do we begin to drive this kind of investment? You know, so when we're looking at people that are looking at South Africa from the outside and they're wanting to invest, um, but they have a number of different things that they might be considering, what are some of the key things that need to be done to drive this kind of investment? Well, I think, uh, first of all, it's worth talking uh, about South Africa's kind of assets in that, in that game, as it were, in terms of the fantastic talent pool, the qualified technicians, the... Uh, a very kind of diverse uh, production sector, independent production in particular. Um, so you're starting from, you know, with, with, with the, if you don't have that asset, you don't want to have much else. Uh, and the fantastic reservoir of stories. Um, I think for the rest, well, what needs to happen, I, I can't really, it would be a bit presumptuous for us as an international organization representing the production industry to prescribe to South Africa what may be best. But suddenly you need enabling regulation that makes sense, that producers can work with, and that um, supports their, their high-risk efforts in, in developing and distributing their content for the national and international marketplace. And I know that Stephen will be perhaps more vocal and that could be about it, but one, one of the key planks of this is a copyright uh, legislative system that makes sense, that is actually uh, usable by the end users, and, and in this particular case, the producers, that doesn't impose an onerous burden uh, on you in terms of the sort of economic pressures that you face that takes into account the fact that this is an enterprise sector and that gives you a, a chance to turn your hard work and talent into tradable assets, which you can use to leverage financing internationally and, and to distribute across the world. So I think somebody referenced, uh, I think it was Siviso referenced uh, at the beginning, the issues around the uh, Copyright Amendment Bill. I think I would certainly, our... Uh, Suggestion would be that the business needs to find an economic uh, argument to make around this particular draft legislation because uh, the fight isn't over to make it make sense in terms of your priorities and your sustainability in the long run. And that perhaps we can revisit later on once Stephen will have covered some of the detail. Fantastic. Thank you so much.